My name is uh, Ross Kelly, and this is my Profit 5. Uh, I uh, purchased it off of Chicago's Craigslist from a man who was selling all of his stuff out of his basement. Uh, when I bought it, it was in non-functional condition. Externally, it looked this good, but internally, it looked like somebody had been uh, ashing a cigar in it for years. Um, so. Once I got it, I managed to get it back up and running, and I have now modified it and added the MIDI, uh, factory MIDI interface to it. Play a few notes on it here for you. So it's a five voice, two oscillator synth. Um, as oscillator A has a sawtooth wave and a pulse wave or square wave, um, and you have control of either, you have hard sync with, with oscillator B, or you have, um, if, and you also have frequency control and pulse width. Um, pulse width doesn't do a whole lot with the sawtooth wave, but the pulse wave. And the uh, frequency steps in um, uh, semitones, I believe. So you got a triangle wave that's on, on B, a sawtooth, and a pulse wave. You have frequency control, pulse width, and the other cool thing is that you can actually use oscillator B if you want as a LFO to modulate uh, oscillator A. You lose the sound of oscillator two when you do this, but it lets you do some pretty cool stuff. Like, uh, let's see. the pulse width. So this is now the LFO for Oscillator A. And you can also control the pulse width of the waveform for the uh, LFO, which is pretty cool. And you also have another dedicated LFO that you can also, is controlled by the mod wheel. A filter is pretty standard, cut off resonance, you have uh, control over how much the dedicated en envelope generator to it uh, will affect it. You can also have it you know, scale to keyboard. <laughs> More the modulation effects. So that's my Profit 5, and uh, next we're going to look at the internals of it and see how I brought it back to life and also how I added MIDI to it.